So I went a wonder in the previous episode and it was fun and I even got to tell you about one of my favourite stories from high school. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum Single Player episode. Today, we're going a little walk about the airport. The airport's a fantastic POI with lots of things to find in it. One specific thing that I will be looking for is either a car or a motorcycle. Maybe a Leica, maybe the little dirt bike. I really love the Leica though, the 4x4s are really fun. Another thing that I would like to get my hands on is possibly the new night scope or the night vision scope and maybe find a battery to fit it. Let's see how this goes. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum Single Player episode. So. What we're going to be doing in and around the airport is trying to find a vehicle and hopefully one of the night vision scoped. As I, would, I would also like to get an upgrade on my backpack as well because this little backpack, even though it is quite good and it's this, it's the right colour for me, it's the right camouflage for me. Um, oh shit. Uh, I do want to find myself uh, an assault backpack, hopefully. Or even better, even better would be uh, a hiking backpack. Also, if you hear some uh, if you hear some whining or drilling or anything like that, next door neighbours are doing some renovations, some DIY work. So if you do hear that, I do apologise. I'll try my best to try and cut it out. If you can't hear it, then I've done my job pretty damn well. Uh, if I ha if if you do hear it, then ah uh, well, shit, I suppose. <laughs> I like how everybody enjoyed the previous episode's little story that I was telling. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Last cannon. Glass Cannon's dead. Out of the game. Ooh, there's a big boy over there. Yeah, I'm I'm happy a lot of people were enjoying that little story that I was telling about my <laughs> about my high school trip to, to France. I was all over the place. I couldn't I couldn't decide between like Paris, Cannon, Monaco and stuff like that. God's sake. But I'm glad everybody enjoyed it. You will get more stories out of me eventually. Um obviously more uh, learn how to speak slang, Scottish slang. That'd be a really good, that'd be good to bring back as well. I've not done that in a while. Anyway, as I said, today's objective is essentially to go over there uh, into that little, uh, that little, what do you call it? A mechanical bay. Try and go in there, see if there's a vehicle in there. If there's not a vehicle in there, try and go into the hangars over to there, just over to 075 East. Uh, failing that, we can actually double back or maybe just go south because this right here where my cursor is, that is exactly where the uh, the firing range is, the shooting range. And there's always a vehicle there, there's always a vehicle. Nine times out of ten you'll always find a vehicle there. Uh, before the update of modular modular cars and stuff like that, it used to be, used to you'd be able to find an SUV there, an ATV, a truck, you could find a cruiser there, you could find all manner of vehicles. Basically, uh, in Bravo 2, if you're struggling to find a vehicle, this is a common spawn, this is a common a vehicle spawn where my cursor is this little bit right here it doesn't show on the map particularly well uh, but this is in fact this is in fact the firing range also I forgot to mention that there's an there's actually a new POI and it's actually north right here in Delta Zero it's the uh, the radar station that's one place where we need to go I need to be quite careful though because obviously Charlie Zero is absolutely rife with radiation but there is a new POI up here, and it is in fact the radio station. Thank you of the radio station from old Call of Duties, the World War II Call of Duties, and it's the the, uh, the German radio tower, the receiver tower. It's a big rectangle. I think the same ones can be seen in Russia and Ukraine and stuff like that. Basically, Eastern Bloc countries, you can kind of see them. They're still there, they're still standing. Um, but it looks like that, and it looks really, really cool, and I'd like to go see it. I don't think there's much in the way of loot, but it's just a really cool looking POI. Okay, enough blethering, enough talking. We need to try and get into here without these um, sentry spotters. Hmm. The easiest way to go about this is to actually approach it from the north rather than the south. Mainly because there's only one patrolling up that direction up there. You can see him over there. You can, you can, you can see him. You can see him. He's right there. But he will double back and go over there. So we're going to go to the north. I can, I can <laughs> I've got Audio Technica uh, headphones on right now, and I can still hear the wee wee wee. 
they're obviously drilling, they're putting in uh, added insulation, I think. I'm, I'm not sure, actually. And the building over the road is getting new windows put in it. So there's lots of DIY work getting done right now, lots of construction work getting done in my area. Um, oh, you don't see me. I didn't realise he turned around. I did not realise that he turned around. Ooh, those th see the thing about the new ones, the new, uh, more terrifying sentries that I'd like to refer to them as. Um, actually, I refer to them as the uh, the Wolfenstein robots. They re they really do. They really took took inspiration from the Wolfenstein ro uh, robots. But anyway. Uh, these things, I can't quite grasp their aggro range because sometimes it's really far and sometimes it's really close de just depending on where you're standing obviously but sometimes they'll spot you a, mi like a literal mile away and you'll be like, what? how did you see me? How did you even spot me? And then other ones in different POIs, for example the airport they don't spot you as actively however they will spot you through the- oh I need to be, hold on they will spot you through the walls, or maybe not not so much through the walls, but the mechanical bay that I showed you where we're going to try and find that vehicle. There are gap there's a gap, there's the threshold of the door, and then you've obviously got the, the double door and where they close. There's not an overlapping um seam on those. There's actually a gap right down the middle between where the two the two doors meet. And they can see you through that, they can shoot you through that door. It's mental. So, that's why I'm being overly cautious with these uh, these sentries here. So I'm also going to get rid of that wooden arrow because I don't really need it. Space! We've made space! Right. We need to get to that mechanical bay. So, I am going to sprint to the bush. Hopefully, I'm out of his uh, peripheral vision. He shouldn't see me now. I'm way outside his periphery vision. Yeah, I'm good now. I'm happy. Should I just gun it? <gasps> Ooh, mistakes, 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 mistake, grenade. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Oh my god. Ooh, oh, the <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Christ, they got me. I think I'm going to die here. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I just need to get in here. I need to get in here. Oh, no. And, 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 Jesus, I don't think I'm gonna make this. If I can slow the, the, the bleeding rate, if I can slow the bleeding rate, then this will be good. 12% HP. 12% HP. Oh, where did, where did he shoot me? Oh, he shot me right in the leg. He shot me, busted me right in the leg. Right. I'm going to turn the, um, how bad, how, oh, it's only a stage four now. Right, we need to take these, and we need to, come on, 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 no, cut into rags, quick. 9%, I don't think we're going to make this, I don't think I'm going to make this. 8%, oh, they are dirty rags, they are dirty rags, but I'm going to have to do it anyway. 8%. It's holding on 8%. I've stopped the severity of the bleeding. It slowed it down quite a lot. What? I think he just destroyed something. 7%, we might make this. <laughs> we might make this. We might actually be alive out of this. Come on. I may have to take off some clothing. Oh, oh. <laughs> I did it. I made it. I made it. I actually, I did it. I, I, oh, God damn, I made it. I'm going to take some antibiotics for right now. And, uh, oh, oh, I survived. I survived only by the skin of my teeth. Oh, my days. We're going to have to hold here for a second. Well, this might be a good opportunity to tell you a story. <laughs> this might be an excellent opportunity to tell you a story, but we'll, do, we'll just hold on for a second. I'm going to quickly repair everything, get everything all sorted out, uh, repair my pants as well, get rid of the holes that these managed to shoot into my thong. <laughs> uh, repair my boots as well. Uh, make sure everything's at 100%, get my spawn back to 100%. He must have impacted that as well, because that was at 95% and he's knocked it down to 86 uh, Right, repair a wee bit more. I'm glad that he... I'm not glad that he shot me in the leg, I'm just happy that he didn't destroy uh, my garments, my, my gear and stuff like that. 
because I really like the, the stuff that I'm wearing right now. Right, that bleeding... The immune system's working very well. The fact that I've taken um, antibiotics as well will counter any of the external pathogens, but the external pathogens is at 4.1%. Immune system's at 4.1%, and we're okay. We're totally fine. Blood volume, oh my god, the amount of health he took off with that one shot. 98.2 health points. 92, 98.2 damage from one shot. That's mental. I'm surprised I'm alive from this. Now, bear in mind, that was probably down to like, I was down to 16 or 18%, and then the bleeding effect just completely destroyed my character. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right. There's not much we can do from here. We just have to wait this out. There's no... I've not got any pain... At least I don't think I've got painkillers. I will take a wee drink of my hip flask uh, drink. This is a nice liquor. There is liquor in this. Um, I could also use the tequila. Did you see that I could use the tequila to... to, um, to um, what's the word? Decontaminate or uh, sanitize the wound. <laughs> you can use that. I can't believe that. That's wild. That's mental. Uh, have I got anything else that could help me here? I've got an energy juice, which is not going to help. I've got a grenade. That could help. <laughs> that could help. But I'm not going to use it for right now. Oh, I'm drunk. Um, uh, hmm. Hmm? Hmm? From one little sip of that? Is the water going to counteract it? Will the water counteract it? So I'm in pain. The drunken... Right, I'm, j I'm just going to say this for the fact that it might be funny and like really daft there's that i can hear that i can hear that <laughs> i can hear the drill Whee! right if you drink a lot of alcohol you should the pain should subdue itself if you get drunk you should subdue the pain and therefore you should be able to run but not in a straight line that is just my that's my take on that <laughs> that's my take on that Right, I'm gonna, um, no, I'm not gonna eat the coffee. What should I eat? I should eat some raisins. Eat all the raisins. Get all those raisins eaten. I could really go for some fruit loaf as well. Does anyone else have that? I know a lot of people call it something completely different. But fruit loaf is amazing. It's genuinely amazing. It's so good. My mum makes it and she makes it really, really good. She also makes a banana loaf. And I love banana loaf. Oh, I love banana loaf. It's so good. It's so nice. It's, uh, that that with some pecan nuts. Lovely. Right, we're almost done on uh, the stabilization of this bleeding injury. We will be able to start running soon. I didn't have to tell a story. I just had to tell you that I really liked... <laughs> that I really like fruit loaf. And it, Oh, the drunkenness has actually sorted itself out as well. That's kind of sick. A wee bit of water and some food actually f maybe have sorted that. That's pretty good. Right. Bleeding injury, C4. Come on. Chop, chop. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie down. This should help. This should help the uh, the recovery stage. This. Oh, you need to hold down control in order to figure that stuff out now. Whee! I can hear. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. Right. Oh, look how fast the health pool's coming back. Look at that. Six or five, eight percent, something like that. Between six and eight percent, I can't remember what it was. But we are recovering. We are getting our health back. We're up to twenty-one percent. As soon as we get to thirty percent, we'll start to see some color on the screen. Twenty-five percent. We're starting to see a little bit of a color. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Past thirty percent. We're starting to see color. We're starting to see red on the uh, the toolbox. We're starting to see the camo on the uh, on my shorts and on my vest. This is good, beyond 40%, it should change quite rapidly. Yep, it's changing quite rapidly now. We can see the yellow on the shelves. Perfect. Excellent! We survived! I survived the death robots! I survived them! I <laughs> I'm so proud of myself! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Mm, let's go! I'm happy about that. I was expecting myself to die. I was expecting to die there. Now, the colour is completely coming in now. Nice and saturated. Everything's back to normal now. 
we're still in a we're still in a great deal of pain. Severity's still at 100 percent uh, We can't run yet. Severity is starting to come down now. Wait, can we run now? Oh, we can. Okay, this is good. All right, open that door. Hello, madam. Oh. Oh, you bit. Right. Okay. Action plan. We need to go into our action plan. Let's go. Oh, what is that doing in here? Right. I need to check how much fuel it's got in it. It doesn't matter so much how much, um, how much battery life is. Oh. 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 Right. This is actually really good because now I can do this. Insert into flashlight. And now I can use my flashlight. Sick. Cool. Oh, I love the logic system of this game now. This is perfect. All they need to do is fix a wee bit on the magazine reloading animation. And I'll be happy. I will be happy to play this to the end of my days. Right. What else have we got? Another battery! Let's go! Right. Oh, a baseball bat. It's a blaze bat as well. It's John's it's John's bat. Right, what have we got here? Not a lot. Not a lot of fuel. Not a lot of fuel. And the the main issue here now is um, I don't know how far that's going to get me. And in order to get out of here, I'll either need to go out to the left or out to the... Yeah, we need to go out to the left. Because there's one patrolling here to our right-hand side here. In fact, you can hear him. We're going to need to go out to the left. Right, we need to get rid of this aggroed puppet. Thank you. Right, how bad are we looking out here? Right, that's our dead. Okay, let's see. Go, just gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh no, we've run out of fuel. We've run out of fuel. Well, that's, that is good. That is good that I've got it out of the danger zone. I've got it out of the danger, danger zone. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over here. We're going to go east. And we're going to remember that this is here by building one of them. That's just so I know where the, the bike actually is. So I remember what part of the, or what portion of the fence that I've, I've left it at. Hopefully we get a fuel can over here. A small one would be beneficial. Uh, I don't really need to take it with me. But what we can do now is we can leave the motorcycle there and we can travel somewhere different, maybe. The, I had two... Oh, there's a vehicle right here as well. Oh my god, there's vehicles all over the shop here. How much fuel's in this, though? There's no fuel in this because this doesn't have an engine. Shit. Right. It's going to have to be that... Or it's going to have to be that one over there that grants me the uh, the fuel can. I'll obviously search around the other buildings as well. But these are the ones that I'm hoping that they've got something in them. Even if it's got like 5 out of 20 or 5 out of 40. That would be really, really handy about now. Right. No fuel here. A radio though. More bolts. Some driving gloves. I'm not going to need them if I don't, ha if I don't have the ability to fuel this damn thing. Right, everybody, hope and prayers inside the, inside the comments. Oh, that's Tyrone's new backpack. Check that out. Tyrone got a brand new backpack. He's you know Tyrone Shoelace. He's a Twitch streamer, and he's got a he's got a mask, and everybody knows that mask. But now he's actually got a hiking backpack because he's a prolific looter, just like me. Um, I'm just going to repair this actually, I'm going to take that with me. I'm actually going to use this. 
Yeah, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. There we go. Empty it out. You can see the backpack that I was originally wearing just deflating completely. Oh, look at that. That's actually so cool. That's so cool. That's awesome, man. I really like that. That's a well good ad. That's well good, that. I hope Tyrone's happy with that. That's, that's fucking magnificent, that. I love that. A usable item, just like my helmet. You know what I mean? Oh, that's good. I'm, 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 I'm a keep that. I'm a keep that. A uh, box of bolts. Good. Oh. Oh, they're asleep now. They're no longer awake. That's something else I must have missed out of the uh, the update as well. Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. The cleaver. Once one of the most powerful, one-handed, kind of knife-sized oh, weapons. It's still one of my favourites. You know, it's not a favourite though. Not having fuel. This is not cool. The closest fuel station is... Oh, this is a ga This is a bit of a gamble. It's either that one right there in Bravo 2 or we go down to Bravo 1. And just... Hello, sir. Headshot. Is that a cooking pot? Finally! <laughs> finally, I've got a cooking pot! Now I can finally cook things. Now I can, oh, I can make... Oh, do you know what I could make? I can make coffee now. I've got a big box of coffee with me. I can make coffees now. I can... Oh, I can subdue the, uh, the exhaustion now. Oh, this is so good! <laughs> Everything about this is good. Everything about this episode so far is making me very, very happy. First of all, getting the batteries. Second of all, getting the dirt bike. And now I've got Tyrone's new backpack, which is awesome. Where is it? Where has it fallen? Oh, it's fallen right in front of me! <laughs> Let's go! Have I got bobby pins? I've got bobby pins and I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough. Right, there's one of them. That's four. Oh, we've got enough. We have sufficient. Oh my god, we have sufficient. It's oh so good. This is so good. This is so good. It's gonna fall down right in front of me. I think. Where is it? Where is it? Can you please start dropping? Where is it? I kind I kind of want that look, that loot drop. I mean, it might have fuel in it. That's th that's the main thing that I want it to have, like one fuel can of like forty out of forty big gasoline canister would be really good. Has it already fallen? Oh wait, is it south? What's going on with this? Oh, is anyone noticing a wee bit of an issue with the uh, the compass? Do you see that? See if I turn. Ah, do you see that? Where the fuck is it? It's apparently over here. Loot drop, hello? Where the hell is it? It's not landed. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Where is it? I'm like right on, like it's, it's supposed to land like right beside me. Where is it? Oh, it's lovely blue skies. Like, I, I don't mind looking at the blue skies, but where the hell is the loot drop? I'm right on top of it. Huh, okay. Guess we're not... Guess we're not getting a loot drop. It's not... It's, surely it's not dropped. Surely it's not landed. 
It can't have landed. There's absolutely no way in hell. Absolutely no way that that's landed already. Am I just being stupid? That's definitely not falling. Okay, so a couple of issues that I've uh, that I've recognised, uh, developers. <laughs> uh, one, uh, your your compasses stick. Oh, it seems to be fixed now. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. Uh, but the loot drop's not dropping. I think it's gone. I think the loot drop has actually disappeared. No way, it's actually disappeared. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Where the f where is it? I keep, I keep, I keep thinking that it's about to drop, but it's these little particles that keep fluttering about my face. Right, tell you what, we'll just forget that that. It's the donkey's fault. It's the donkey's fault. It's totally the donkey's fault. Right, um. I keep thinking it's there, but it's those fucking particles. Mm. Right, we're going to go for that hangar over there. There is the chance, there is a small chance that there might be a fuel can in there. See if this thing actually drops whilst I'm running in here. I'm going to be so angry. Nah, it's not dropping. I'm going to give up on that. I'm just going to give up on that. Yeah, it isn't there. There's no way it's there. Is he going to turn? Is he going to turn? Oh, but he's turning. Ooh. Oh, am I on your path? Am I directly in your path? I bloody better not be. <laughs> oh, nervous laughter. <laughs> I better not be in your path, my guy. <laughs> you better not be walking to... Oh. I'm so glad that you do not have infrared or like any sort of ability to see heat. Otherwise, I would be dead. Are you taking the piss? Are you actually taking the piss? What is going on here? <laughs> Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. That delay was stupid. That delay, the delay in the fall, stupid. I don't like that. I <laughs> did not like that. Right, give me fuel. That's all I want from this thing. That's all I want from this. I just want some fuel. Right. I know I've got my I know I've got my gloves on. But it doesn't matter. I'm just that good. Right. There we go. That's that one sorted. Rusty locks ain't shit. There we go. This one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Two more. Please. Please. me some fuel. I just need a small fuel can or a large fuel can. That's all I want from this. I don't want anything. I don't want anything else. I just want that one thing that will allow me to move. That's a lot of water. Fat boy helmet and armor. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, hold on. Right, that's that's just that's just that's just fucking teasing me. That's just teasing me now. Why would you give me the forty mics? Why would you give me those, you bastard? What the fuck? Oh, this is actually a good thing. Tell you what, we're gonna go a run. I know my backpack's really full right now. I know that I've not got enough space to actually start looting things, but. But, but, hear me out, hear me out. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to run all the way back. All the way back over to that fuel station. I'm going to go to this one. I think that's the I think that's the closest one. At least with the least amount of problems facing me with that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spill all of this. So it's zeroed. And I'll take that with me. Can I fill this up with water? No. Only if it's on the stove, I think. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this. So I'll see you in just a second, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go directly to the Bravo 2 uh, petrol station. So I'll see you there in just a second. Right, I'm here and it's absolutely crawling with death. Literally crawling with death. Missed. God damn it. That was that was a shot to both collarbones there. That was rough. Ooh, I just I just winced a wee bit. Cause uh I, I know people who have in fact broken their collarbones and they have in fact told me that it is not a fun experience. Just checking this area. I wanted to try and grab that arrow, but I don't think I'm gonna find it. I think I've shot it directly into the brush. Uh are you a glass cannon? No. There we go. There's where we're starting to go. Now the good thing is, I've got money. I can take out fuel and put it directly into the bottle. As soon as we put it into the bottle, we're gonna run back, place it into the uh, into the dirt bike. We're gonna drive the dirt bike back here to refuel completely. That way, we don't we don't we don't waste time. You know what I mean? So anybody here? Oh, so they spawned in front of me. Just not at this location. Okay, that's good. That's perfect, actually. Right, what have we got in here? Anything? Nothing. Sad. Anybody? Ooh, hello. What is that? Shush. Do you know what would be terrifying? If... When they screamed like that? Uh, they also attracted, like, more puppets to them. Do you know how we can attract puppets to the sound of our, like, our, our, uh, our footsteps and stuff like that? Oh, actually, take that. What I do wish, and this is coming from the game Days Gone, is when one aggro's, the rest of them are like, why is he angry? I'm going to go check why he's angry. Oh, he's found someone to eat. Excellent. We will all help him. See when, see when I imagine zombies, I imagine them all talking like really, really clean, like efficient English. <laughs> they don't growl. They just, they What the fuck do you mean drink? Have I not got my card with me? I've not got my card with me. Oh, you stupid ba- Wait, 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 wait. I left my card. I've left my card back at the base. Where have I started? Oh no. Oh no. I've left my card back down there. In Alpha 1. I can't get... I can't get this. I can't... <laughs> I can't... I can't get the fuel. We need to go to the Bravo 1 town. Oh my god, man. We need to go to Bravo 2 Town, sorry. Bravo 2 Town, not Bravo 1. Bravo 2 Town. Oh, you're an idiot! Ugh. Right. I have to remember to keep bringing the uh, the card with me. That's a pain in the hoop. That's a bastard. <laughs> That's an absolute bastard. Oh, this is fine. This is okay. We're going to go over to Bravo 2 Town, we'll probably find a fuel can in one of the garages and then we'll take it over to the dirt bike. Hopefully it's fuel. It's, it's fuel? Hopefully it's full. Full of fuel. Fuel of fuel? Full of fuel? Fuel? fuel. Anyway, hopefully it's full. Hopefully 
we can get the dirt bike maybe back home to grab the grab the card and maybe you know fill it up with additional fuel <laughs> this is not good I need to remember to bing the I can't believe how silly I feel right now I knew I might need the, the, the card but I didn't think I'd need it this desperately oh excuse me the heat's catching up with me I've got my fan on uh, a lot of people told me that they couldn't hear the fan which is really good which means I can keep this thing on whilst I make videos um, but yeah the heat is, is, is catching up with me it's a very very humid day today in, uh, in Glasgow and the sun is but it's there's a layer of cloud a very thin layer of cloud it's kind of overcast but it's very bright um, it's shining right through the clouds and you can feel it on your back and as someone who doesn't really own a lot of colourful clothes like see see when see when you speak to people that, that, that go outside and stuff like that they all they all tell you like, oh I've got these shirts and I've got these t-shirts and stuff like that see me I've got black t-shirts I've got loads of black t-shirts and I only own black t-shirts there's only a handful of um, you know colourful shirts I've got and they're not even colourful they're like neutral colours like neutral orange blues you know what I mean I I wear predominantly band t-shirts band merch oh, th those those are two those are two very good things just the wrong things that I need right now oh that was perfect that was right into his neck there that was well done let's get that arrow back there's a few uh, there's a few garages here that I need to I need to check. I do also have plain t-shirts, like they have absolutely nothing on them. They're just they're just like really dark coloured, like a dark like a burgundy red, uh, an olive, dark olive, um, dark grey, black. <laughs> glass cannons. Glass cannons, lots of glass cannons. Deadly, deadly little boys right here. Need to search him to get that arrow back. But yeah, um, I I used to be a shirt person. I used to be a I used to be a a, a, a checkered plaid shirt guy, and um, I started going to more gigs. I started wearing less um, dressy dressy clothes and started wearing predominantly band merch. And that's where that that's where that started. And right now, I am wearing band merch. Like right now, like making this video, I'm wearing an a Monomarth T-shirt uh, from the uh, the Great Heathen Tour, which is one that I is one that I actually attended in the O2 Academy in Glasgow, and that was a fantastic gig. Let me tell you that that was fantastic. But oh my days! Imagine being in a gig, right? It's 28 degrees outside of the venue, no wind. Right, no breeze. Right, the venue has no aircon. The venue only has open doors. The venue is fucking warm inside. <laughs> Stupid warm. That's a wee parsnip. I think I, 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 yeah, I've been through here. That's why this place is kind of, kind of lacking in the loot sector. You know what I mean? It's kind of lacking. Right, give me that. But uh, yes, I'm wearing band merch right now, and that is that's just what I wear. Uh, bolts, lots of bolts. Nothing found. Nothing found. I've clearly searched through this. Big lad, dead. Armored lad, not dead. Dead. Another garage. Where? She's right in front of me. She's at the little altar. There she is there. Right. Give me my arrows back here. Give me my arrows back. After I make this, by the way, this is gonna this video is gonna be released quite early. Uh, early on in the day. Uh, tonight I'm going to go see Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a pizza hut. I'm gonna go have a good time watching Spider-Man. 
don't know why. I, I don't know why, but I just, I just feel dead happy about that. <laughs> I'm gonna go see Spider-Man tonight. <laughs> it's a new Spider-Man, by the way. It's not any of the. It's not like a rerun of the Tobey Maguire one. It's the. Uh, it's the new one. A certain someone, a certain partner of mine wants to go see it, and I was happy to oblige. Dead. No, not dead. Dead. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh shit, I missed. I didn't miss that time. Thank you. Let me get that arrow out of that wooden... wooden fence line right there. Perfect. Right, I'm only gonna... As I said, I'm only gonna search garages here because we need to go get... fuel. We need fuel. There's a... There's a fucking tire. There's a tire. There's a wheel. I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm rushing through. All of these puppets, these puppets are not standing a chance against me today. I might, I might be slightly warm, but I'm on my game right now. Fuel. Lucky Star cigarettes. Fuel, 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 fuel. No fuel. Sad, no fuel. Two more garages here. Garage there, garage there. Three garages, actually. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping. <gasps> Check. Can I siphon the fuel out of that? No, I can't. I can't take the fuel out of that. <sighs> Nothing in there. Fuel. Fuel. Fuel can. Fuel. Fuel can. No fuel. <laughs> no fuel can. No fuel can. Lots of puppets. Right, pal. There you go, you're out for the count. I'm gonna go in here and double check if there's any 9mm. There's a little, um, as I say to everybody, this thing right here, this little safe right here, usually has a box of 9mm sitting in it. And it's usually a good little, uh, like, restock of- Ah, missed, you bugger! I'm gonna hit this guy with a baseball bat. Nice. Nice, dead. Cool. Where's that arrow? Where's that arrow? It landed over here somewhere. There it's there. That's a lot of puppets! Hi, friend! Oh! Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Should have kept using the bow. Where am I? Oh, boobs. <laughs> Where am I? It put me in the bottom of B2. Mm. <laughs> right, we need to aim that way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hopefully the wind doesn't take me here. Yes. 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 Right, I'm just going to run back to my body. I'm just going to sprint back to my body. I'll see you in two seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I, I am not giving up that stuff. That stuff is mine. That was Tyrone's new backpack. I am not giving up on that. I'll see you in just a second. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I made it back. I've just been walking for a wee while to try and regain some of my stamina. Right, here we go. And back in. Let's go. Oh, we also got a card. We got our... We got a card! That means we can get fuel! Oh, you... Buggers. It was over here I died, wasn't it? There's my body, right there. Whoa, 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 
Right, one dead. Why are you so fast? You're not a glass cannon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Put that in the ground so I don't forget about it. I'm going to take off all my clothes and I'm going to remain in first person so you people don't have a an episode. Oh. Nearly, nearly, madam. Nearly. Nearly had me there. Yes. Perfect. Ha 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 You can't see them. You can't see the yabos. <laughs> right, now that we've got a... Now that we've got a key... We've, well, we've got a card. We, now that we've got a card, we can go We can go buy. We can go buy fuel. Arrows, 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 arrows. Perfect. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my god! Right, what I'm going to do is we're going to call it here. And in the next episode, what we're going to do is we, and I specifically mean we, are going to go get some fuel. Now that we've got a key card, we can finally get the fuel and we can fill up the bottle that we've got in my backpack right here. This 0 out of 20 bottle will be able to fuel up the, the, uh, the dirt bike and then subsequently take it over to another fuel station and use the remaining uh, money that I have in my account to fill it up with the fuel that we need. Alright ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave a thumbs up on this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you guys enjoying the new content, the new content patch for, you know, the battery, the night vision goggles, Tyrone's new backpack? It's pretty cool. I really like it. I like the way that the little skull, like, kind of hangs off the top there. I really like that. I really like that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been enjoying this series and other, the other series on the channel, and you're still not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Ring the little bell. You stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream, which starts between 6 and 7 p.m. UK. We go for about 3-4 hours playing Scum, Daisy, sometimes Project Zomboid, and any other game that tickles my fancy on the evening. It's usually a lot of fun, lots of people join the chat and we have a good time. I'd love to see you there. Anyway, I'm going to go away, get a nice cold drink, finish off a few of the bases for my new 40k minis, and I hope you all have a lovely day. As always, I've been Mr Feudal. I'll see you all another time.